that it is hard to remain positive in harsh circumstances. That's telling me that you're being hurt. Okay? Those of you who think, does God see me? I mean, does God see what I'm going through? Does he hear my cries? Okay. In response. There is awareness. In relating to the fact. That it is hard to remain positive in harsh circumstances. I must read you the next message before I go into any interpretation because there was a following message. And it is this angel number is suggesting there is a need to keep fighting for things you want and work hard on reaching them because nobody will help you along the way. Mm. 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 Isn't that a rude awakening? I'm going to read that again. This angel number relays a message that there is a need to keep fighting for things you want and work hard on reaching them because nobody will help you. Along the way. Let me tell you. What rude awakenings look like. They look like. Those same people. I said they look like. Those same people that made you jump off the cliff. Do I need to repeat that? They look like those same people that made you drop and jump off of a cliff. And as you fall, and you see danger, that you didn't, that you didn't have access to, due to a blind spot. You know, there are always blind spots, right? Due to a blind spot. Due to your intuition was covering that blind spot. But you disregarded your intuition. Due to You were given a message from someone connected, but you rejected the message. Yeah. Due to you lack wisdom. Due to you lack the spirit of discernment. 
due to you think you know it all, right? Okay. And as you fall and ask for help and no one answers. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. I said, yep. No one answers. Mm, No one answers. Make God your best friend. I said, make God your best friend. This is not to say you can't trust people because if God put that person in your life, I said, God, I said, God, I said, if God put that person in your life, he put that life partner there to help you on your journey. There will be support there. But there will not be codependency. I said, there will not be codependency. There will not be codependency because that is not of God. You understand? So as you love each other, as you support each other, as you nurture each other, as you have each other's backs. God is supreme. I said God is supreme. And so you give praise. You give honor. And you acknowledge the supreme. In unisense. I said in unisense. This angel number shows that what you need in your life is to make the right choices. Wow. Mm -mm. Is to make the right choices and take the correct action accordingly. Okay, somebody needed confirmation. Is to make the right choices and what? And take the correct action accordingly. All right? The right choices is what God is telling to you to do. The right choices is what God is telling you to do. Okay. He's not telling you in the realization and the recognition that you made a mistake that black magic is the answer. I said, he's not telling you. Let me say it slow for somebody. He is not telling you that black magic, that manipulation, that love spells, that telling lies, that defamation of character, that death spells, Shall I go on? Shall I go on? Shall I go on? Shall I go on? Is the answer. No, that's not what he's telling you. Refocus. Refocus. Because you're being asked. 
to make the right choices and take the correct action needed. Let me review something for you. Earlier I mentioned that you need to have faith and work hard and that was the message that was being revealed. And you do. You need to work hard and go after what you want. But it must be in alignment with God. Okay? It must be in alignment with God. So, in that, The channeled message I'm receiving is and no man should separate what God put together. Correct? I'm also channeling there is free will. I said there is free will. There is free will. So if someone in the party walked away, you heard that? I whispered that because some people Detach in tippy toe quietly. You know why? If it doesn't work over here, I need a backup plan. Uh huh. I'll keep her in waiting. Uh huh. And I'll, I'll go back. Right? Let me remind you of, of the card. Of the moon. Right? The the card that depicts the moon. And an eye. Right? And retaliation. Coming. Don't play with God's children. I said don't play with God's children. Because God has the last word. And so when he calls judgment. I said when he calls judgment. He can redirect. He does redirect. And you have no choices. I didn't say choice. Because we would be referring to one direction. We would be referring to one option. I'm telling you, you don't have a choice, north, south, east, or west. You don't have a choice, past, present, or future. Okay? You don't have a choice in another realm or another dimension. Get that together. It's over. It's finished. God has stepped in the room. 